Hi everyone, it's Anna for Pretty Presets, and today I want to talk to you about editing to achieve a film look with your digital images. So the first thing that always strikes me about a film image versus a digital one is that film tends to have a bit less contrast than digital images, so I typically reduce my contrast first, and for this image I'm reducing the contrast to minus 50. So after reducing the contrast, I then look at my highlights. So film is, um, when, when it's properly exposed, it has a creamy, uh, it has creamy highlights that aren't too bright or too dark. So in the Clean and Creative presets here, I'm selecting the Recover Clipping preset to tone down the highlights in my image, particularly in these light pink blossoms that I have going on here. So next, I'm selecting the Make Matte preset, and one of the reasons the matte effect is so popular right now is because it is derived from the film look. Now, film tends to cause a flattening out of the blacks in some cases, so when the Make Matte preset is applied, it tends to lighten the blacks in your image to create that look. Now, if I want to make my blacks even lighter and add more of a matte haze to the image, I can select the point curve here, where as you can see, the blacks are being affected when I pull towards lighter and darker. So for the last step in this recipe, I'm selecting desaturate colors because a lot of the really popular films out there tend to have just a bit less saturation than most digital images. So it's not a huge difference, so you don't want to desaturate too much or your image is just going to look washed out. You may also want to go into your saturation sliders and tweak some of the individual color channels. So for this image, I love what the desaturate preset did, but I want to bring a, uh, back a bit more green in my image. So there you have it. And this is just a starting point recipe to recreate that film look. So just to recap, the things that you want to check for when editing to achieve a film-inspired look are contrast. The contrast in film images needs, uh, or it tends to be a bit less than digital images. Highlights, you want to make sure that they're bright and balanced, but not too contrasty, so be sure to use the Recover Clipping preset. Matte effect, you want to create sort of a flattening out of the shadows and the blacks in your image, and this will also help reduce the contrast overall. And finally, you want to look at saturation. You're probably going to want to reduce this a bit, but not too much because you don't want your images to appear washed out. And you can always go back into the individual color channels and tweak certain colors, just like I did here, by bringing back the really lush, rich green that was in my original image.